It is the fraction of the active drug contained in an any dosage form that reaches its side effection after administration through any route is known as the bioavailability. Remember, we discussed this in the previous section. For example, if 100 milligrams of a drug is administered orally and 70 milligrams is absorbed unchanged, the bioavailability is 0.7 or 70%. Determining bioavailability is important for calculating drug dosages for non-intravenous routes of administrations. It is determined by comparing plasma levels of a drug after a particular route of administration. For example, the oral administration with levels achieved by the IV administration. Because we know that IV route has 100% bioavailability. So this is the standard. When the drug is given orally, only part of the administered dose appears in the plasma. Rest gets bound to the protein distributed or stored. By plotting plasma concentration of the drug versus the time duration, the area under the curve can be mired. The total area under curve reflects the extent of absorption of the drug. Bioavailability of a drug given orally is the ratio of the area under curve following oral administration to the area under curve following the IV administration. Factors affecting bioavailability include routes of administration, first pass metabolism, and the quality control factors of a particular drug. If these factors regulate bioavailability, they will also affect the absorption. Head on to the lecture on bioavailability to learn more about them.